In this tutorial, I want to show you how to create a billboard GUI that you can add a button to to click on. So that over there is a flat image. It's not a 3D model. And as you move around that, it is always facing towards you. So it turns and faces the camera always. And that is called the billboard GUI. And onto that, I added a, in, an image button. So let's do that. So we start off by adding just a part to the scene. I just went here to part and I added a block. And I renamed that to base billboard so that we don't use the default names. You know, it's a good habit to rename your objects. So onto that, I'm going to add a billboard GUI. There we go. And I'm going to rename that as well. So I'm going to call that billboard treasure. And then to that, I'm going to add an image button. So the image button is parented to that. I'm going to rename the image button to button treasure. Okay. Now, as I move the camera around, you can see that billboard following me. You know, it's always looking at it but it's stuck inside that uh, part. So I'm going to select my billboard treasure. I'm going to go here to studs offset X, Y, Z and change the Y value to three. So that lifts it up out of there. And you can see there that the image inside it is doing something funky. You know, it's being cut off over there. So what we want to do is we want to set the scale. It's also offset to the side. So again, I'm going to select the billboard. I'm going to come here to sizing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a scale, a fixed scale of two studs. And I remove the offset and make that zero. And uh, the Y, I'm going to scale that two studs as well. And then remove the offset. So now I've got a square object in there. Now as I go in, oh, let's just see if we can go in. Right, the image is kind of not doing exactly what it should be doing. It's off to the side. So what we're going to do with this button treasure, we're going to set its size to be one scale relative to the parent. So I'm going to remove the offset, make the scale one, zero. Now it is actually in the center of that object. Let's go. Let's find it. There we go. You see now, no matter if I zoom out, it stays right in there. All right. So we've got this set up apart from the image. So let's add an image. So this is one I downloaded from image icon archive. And I need to make that background transparent so that it looks nice. There we go. So now we have our treasure, treasure chest. <laughs> and as you move around it, it keeps looking at the camera. Right. What we need to do now is we need to move that from that object. So currently it's parented to base billboard to this object. But when the game starts, we actually want this to be parented to that block by the server. So I'm going to move this out of here now. I'm going to take the billboard. I'm going to move it to replicated storage. So it will dis disappear from here. So it's not parented anymore. Now we fix that by going to replicated storage, clicking on the billboard, and then we go to the Adorni property. And in there I can click, and then I can select my object to which it will be parented to. I'm using the word parent, but I mean, it's it's the Adorni. So when we say to it with, with a script that your parent will be base billboard. So when we do the script and we add it to the player GUI, it will know where to go because of that Adorni property. Right. We've got everything set up. Now we need to do small, two small scripts. So the first one will be the click script. So to button treasure inside that billboard, I'm going to add a local script. 
I can add something in here that just tells me that it's working. So we just say treasure click script active. So I can look for that for that in the console. Now I need to get a handle to the button. So I do that by saying local, give it a name, button equals. And this is nice and easy because we know button treasure is the parent of local script. So all we're going to do in here is we're going to say script dot parent. Right. Now we've got a hold of button and then we need to put an action to it. So we're going to say button mouse button one click colon connect that to an anonymous function. I'm not giving the function a name and I'm not passing any parameters. So that's clean as it is there. And then we're going to say print uh you captured that click right so that's it now we can click on the image button inside the billboard however it's not going to work because now that billboard is sitting in replicated storage it's not going to go anywhere it's not going to be displayed so we need to go to the server script service and we'll add a script just a normal script and inside there, of course, I can rename that as well. So let's rename that. So SCR server treasure, just to give it a name. And let's go call that one as well. So we want script treasure. Right. So we're back in server script service on the ser script server treasure. Let's make that tell us that it's working as well. So we're going to say server script for treasure active. That's good enough. In order to get a hold of the player, because we need to add that billboard to the player GUI. In order to get a hold of the player, we need to get a hold of players inside the game. So we'll do game and we'll get the player's service. Okay. So now we've got a hold of all the players when the game starts. We need to get a hold of replicated storage because that's where our billboard is stored. So once again, we'll do game and we'll get the replicated storage service. So I use the code completion that comes up there. Last thing to get will be a hold of the billboard inside replicated storage, but we need to wait for that because that might take a while to load. So we're going to go billboard equals. Now we've got a handle on replicated storage. So we'll do that. And then we'll say, well, wait for child. Wait until it's properly loaded and you can actually access it. And the name we gave it is billboard treasure. So we'll do billboard. Once again, code completion comes up. And just press enter. Now we are ready to attach it to the player GUI got the players, we've got a reference to replicated storage, and we've got a res reference to the billboard. So we'll do when the game starts for the players, when the player is added, connect it to an anonymous function again. In that anonymous function, because of the way that this code is structured here, we receive the player as a parameter, which is nice because now in here, we can work with that. First thing to do is clone that billboard from replicated storage so that we have a local instance. So local cloned billboard equals billboard clone. So now we make a clone and we assign it to clone billboard. And the last step is then to attach it to the player GUI. So we say clone billboard parent equals the player that we received in this function right there dot player GUI so when the game now starts and this player is loaded and the billboard is finished loading in replicated storage this function will make a clone of that and attach it to the player GUI we need to do that in order to be able to click on it otherwise you would just see it we need to do this to be able to interact with it 
So when we click play now, we should see our two messages here coming up. Server script for treasure is active. That's correct. Then the click script is active. Now we go into, zoom in a bit, and as we walk around, first off you can see that, yes, well, the billboard was actually attached to the Adore knee because we can see it. And now when you click on that, there we go, you captured that click. So I hope this helps you. This took me quite a while to figure out, and uh, there's more to come. Cheers.